what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's gonna be a hair tutorial not really but kinda so um i this is what i did to my hair minimal baby hair because i really when it comes to like hairstyles like this i don't want to do too much baby hair but if you want to see how i achieved this look stick around and continue to watch don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get get into the video i also apologize first because my fan is currently on and my nan will turn it off yeah I go home and go to eat because right now the place is so damn humid. I can barely breach my two nose. Them. And I want to make it worse, I lock up my door. So, yeah. But, anyways, we're gonna be doing. Uh, I'm gonna basically do my hair. I've been looking like this. My hair has grown a lot. And I've been looking really rough. And it's very, very annoying. And I'm just really tired of this I rub gel on my ear, even though technically I'm gonna put back gel on my ear. But I'm just tired of rubbing gel in my hair like this and then just leave. So like I wanted to try another style finger coils. So the products that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be the Wetline Extreme, um, the clear one. Yeah, the Wetline Extreme clear one. Um, I'm gonna also be applying some water and conditioner because I've washed my hair um but you know it's not now i'm welcome on your head the first time i cut my hair my hair was curling up so awesome and like the, the older the more my hair grew i noticed that my hair wasn't like the curls wasn't like behaving the same way i had waves i'm gonna try and insert some pictures some waves and whatnot i think before i'm going to the story how long come here March, April, May, June, July. This month is gonna be five months since I've cut my hair. And yeah. But yeah, I had waves and everything and after a while the waves them start going yeah, so that when I'm used to um remember that I used to be, like put a lot of oils and shit like that in my hair or something like that. Maybe gonna do the oil and heat i used to apply a lot of heat so i'm trying to go back to that no heat um if i don't want my hair to be stretched i'm going to like pat it up and stretch it or find some other method to stretch it but not like you know yeah another thing seeing that this is like a sit down here tutorial video whatever i'm gonna be talking about a lot of topics um I'm also watching a YouTube video. So if you do hear a little noise in the background or tweaks and sound, I'm watching somebody. Um, let me show you what I'm currently watching. I'm watching, what's her name? Tash Fierce. I just stumbled across her randomly. And I like her vibes. So I, I can't always, you know, watch her videos. But, um, so the topic not really a topic but it's more so shit i don't have a big comb in here how am i gonna do this now i just clean up but i didn't go in real quick but yeah the topic is the world feeling i was i was i was doing some reflection i feel like i'm gonna know me at but at the same time i know exactly me at all but it just feels so weird to say it out loud because it's in it's been in my brain I'm gonna use this comb, do not use this comb unless I use that comb because my camera will find a big tea comb. Big tea comb is not in my room. So yeah. But go come here girl. My ear can actually kill me come with that that key on my ear the other day. Well attempt to kill me the other day. I'm really just combing all the kinks. Back. so yeah i'm gonna find the comb it was either between this pink comb and this purple comb you know from my other purple comb here i don't know if, if a person that live in jamaica is a person or no. a person that live in port was a person or no. jenny jenny no not jenny jenny shit glenn james and if working on nba like 
early 2000s is supposed to get a comb set with a brush, a comb, and I think some else. Yeah, I had one of those. It's actually my aunt's. I'm gonna just take the comb for now. And yeah. Never gave it back. I was sitting and I'm thinking about like me not having friends or not being able to. Well, I do have a friend. I have one friend. I have one genuine friend that's always been with me. From me and her, a friend, me and her debate about we'll have a follow up once and you know, we'll get back together. Those are best friends. She can't do it up, me and me can't do it with her. Even though I need a friend. So I'm gonna go in with the gel. Yes, yeah, so I've only had like one or uh, one friend. Not saying I haven't had persons that were my friends or be me and them became friends or anything like that. Cause that happens over the years. You know, when you go to school, you know, come across people and them are kind of clickish or whatever the case may be. So when um, yeah, so when it comes to friends, right? I have a very Sometimes even every day. But like that one friend that I have. You know, she always did it. She always remind me say <laughs> which my day, you know? And I guess she's the only person that recognized that I like in general it's not gonna always be the type to want to go everywhere and do everything and all of that. This world has made me feel so alone by myself. So it's like when I do find someone or for example, if I'm going at a new job or whatever, I always have to do all of my efforts. Like I just don't want someone to hate me or dislike me. And like we can't stop it because I try to be perfect all the time. But like it's impossible to be perfect all the time. And 
it's only because I don't want to hear that okay you're not good at this or okay um we're gonna choose someone else over you or we only have a, re have a rejection issues my heart I don't know I've been rejected once before. Never feel nice, but never, you know, sit on point like that. That's really like relationship wise. But like, you know, would that it feel different versus like friends and like day to day activities? If that makes sense. Friends or your family or something. But like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to like and maintain a really healthy relationship with someone else then everybody thinks different everybody does things differently and it's kind of hard because everybody have a different belief i mean no more people Yeah, oh my god, the rain is gonna fall. Finally, no problem. I want the rain to fall. I want the rain to fall so bad. The place is way too hot, man. So I'm actually excited that the rain is about to fall. It's time for. Yes, I'm fall. They know that we're feel nice and then I can feel nice and then I go, 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 Say wet line extreme. This is extreme. Is this the car thing? It's just extreme. So I'm gonna ask you that this is the car thing because we never really like pee my enough to say at the car or something. So when I'm like right here in my head at the very front, then I'm gonna come back to you guys and yeah. But for the most part, I'm almost finished and whatnot. So. Yeah, I'm really just finger coiling my hair, just using the method, just wrapping, getting some gel and just twisting your hair around. So hopefully it comes out nice. I really, really hit my ear right now, like no joke. I'm gonna know why I hit my ear, but hit my hair. I'm gonna just want to cut it back off, like really, really low, because I kind of like low, 
the low look of my hair but at the same time like i want to grow my hair that mean i want complete dilemma but you know a serious dilemma might i want to keep the hair because my hair can actually comb now i'm like i want to get it braided but it's like i don't know if if you can like always have to like a last song if you put it in a braid because it's short still and if that way even look okay you know blunt and braids and the whole works and it's just just stressing and then i kind of want to like dye my hair but at the same time don't want that maybe because i don't want to miss on my ear and i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i really don't when you're in a, like a hair depression what do you do all right so finally finish ish so i told you guys that i was gonna leave the front part of my hair um by itself so i can you know show you guys what i do so basically i go in with spray bottle I just use my finger sometimes I'll just I'll use a cold like I really just use my finger for most times just to get some tangles and all of that out of my hair then I'm gonna go in with the gel and just apply I don't use a lot because I don't need a lot just need like it's only one dab and then hope you can see yeah, just that one dab and then that's what I use for my hair just a wipe it off because never need a merger. So then, after I ensure that it's fully smooth-ish, you know, I might just put a little bit more because it's not feel, feel a bit dryish to me. And I'm gonna split it, and I use my thumb to like hold through the hair. Then I just curl or twine or whatever. I don't always use my thumb because if my hair is already like smooth, sometimes I use it to split the hair. My hair is already like smooth, I don't really necessarily need to do that. But sometimes I do do it. I like this. We kind of want this splitting up too. Alright, so that is the last one. Oh, I'll look at my gel to the one here. Now that's the end of the video um i hope that you enjoyed i hope everything was you know i know that i ramble a little bit but i hope that you you can you know relate to the conversations that were said and made um just gonna give you a final look of what my hair is looking like Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys